Hi, Praveen here. Welcome to my YouTube channel Critical Loop. The main problem which we are facing now is shortage of water. In this earth, 29% is land is where we live. In that, 71% is covered with water out of which 68.5% is salty water with 20.3% in frozen state. The balance 2.5 is the only consumable quantity for human life. Out of 2.5, 1.1% is below ground level. Another 1.4% is surface flown water which we humans throw all our waste and contaminate it and at the end blaming each other. We all work very hard for our kids to get good knowledge. We make good houses for them to live and we plan ahead so that our kids live a very happy life. Without thinking to enjoy all these numerous pleasures, our kids need water too, which we all keep wasting it now and pushing our kids life in danger. At last, all our struggles will be of no use and we all will be blamed and pointed out. In this video, I will explain on which things we waste water and on how to save it. Huge amount of water being wasted in our house that too mainly in toilets more in flush tanks than while bathing, vessel washing, washing machines, water purifiers, vehicle washing and other cleaning work. This type of flush tanks which we see in this video is an ordinary type have in most of our houses. For a better understanding let us go through this chart. These normal flush tanks have a capacity of 10 to 15 liters so it will be an average of 12.5 liters for a single flush. And let's say a person flushes 5 times a day it will be like he consumes around 62.5 liters per day. For a month it will be 1875 liters. For a family of 4 it goes up to 7500 liters just only for flushing toilets. To overcome this, I am suggesting you all to either use dual flush western toilets or squatting pan toilets. Western toilets with dual flush tanks will have two buttons or knobs to operate it. One for half flush and another for full flush. Half flush uses around 3 liters of water whereas full flush consumes around 10 liters. So according to this chart, for a day it will be like 29 liters. For a month, 870 liters which is 53% lesser when compared with ordinary flush tanks. High efficient flush tanks is a bit expensive. It uses 3 liters for half flesh and 6 liters for full flesh which consumes 66.4% lesser than ordinary flesh tank. Also have other models like cyclone flesh, pressure assisted flesh which all varies according to the brands and their own flushing technology. Vacuum flesh which are used in flights consumes lesser than 1 liter for a flesh but the drawback is it's very noisy and expensive for maintenance but still can be used in theaters, shopping malls and other commercial buildings. Let's wait for a practical cost effective models for homes may be available in future. Squatting pan also called as Indian closet which is a classic model but we all started to change over to western toilets by which we believe we will get a better individual identity. Squatting pan or Indian toilets consumes very less water. We can flush it according to our needs using a bucket but please don't fix a flush tank for Indian toilet. Western toilet seating trays can get dirty easily and people sit on it and get infected as our skin will be in direct contact with this type of toilet but that's not in the case for Indian closet and it's very hygienic too. Our human body is designed in such a way to flush out our own waste in a better way by squatty position which indeed is good for our own health so better go for Indian toilets and for elderly people use western with dual flesh. Also try to fix urinal pan for your toilets it will be very helpful for water consumption. S traps and P traps. It's an outlet fixture plumbing pipe used for toilets. Its main purpose is to avoid bad gases from drainage lines to enter into your toilets. Start to use P traps as P traps is good for flushing as the number of vents is lesser when compared with S traps. Some countries already started to ban as it's not that effective in preventing bad gases. Push taps. It functions in a way that it automatically cuts off water supply after a few seconds once its head is pressed for water flow, which is an ideal choice to save water. In order to control the duration of flow, some taps have inbuilt adjustments. If no adjustments found, simply wrap some elastic bands around its neck, which is marked in green, to adjust the duration of flow. Fix sprayers for taps as it creates an air bubble movement and reduces the flow pressure. On our daily basis, we waste a lot of water by bathing. Some says using a shower head can reduce water usage and some says using a bucket will do. But it all depends on how we use it. It's we who need to try our best to get wet and come out clean with less usage of water and make sure to close the shower heads now and then 
when you take a break while you bath. The same applies using a bucket. Close tap once filled up and pour water gently on your body. Rather than pouring very hard, will simply splash water all over of no use. So both shower head and bucket is effective only if we know how to use it efficiently. The next which we see is washing machine. Top load and front load washing machines. Front load is a bit expensive but it consumes very less water when compared with top load. Try to keep your washing machines in a much elevated level with the storage tank below and collect those waste water from washing machines and reuse it for either flushing your toilets or for your other cleaning purposes. Water purifiers. To drink a 1 liter of purified water, it takes an additional 3 liters of water just to clean its filters. Try to store its wastewater as well and reuse it. In most of our houses, we switch on the motor to fill your overhead tank and we move on with our other works. Once tank gets filled up, by hearing the overflowing water, we realize and then run to power off. In order to avoid such incidents, have a type of device with sensors which must be fixed inside the tanks. These sensors will notify us by an alarm or it switches on the motor when water level is low and automatically switches it off once water reaches the highest level, which eventually saves liters and liters of water. This device can be found in online shopping site. So let's try our best to save water. Whatever step our government takes to overcome water scarcity will be of no use at the end. If we still continue to waste it, then do you think there will be a point in blaming our governments? So please save water, live and let live. If you are convinced about the ideas I shared in this video, then kindly like Share with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Save water. Thank you.